Okay, welcome back. We are going to work on our cloudy type of sky background. Um, they all come out differently. It's kind of like watercolor camo, sort of. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but it's cool. So what I want to do is I don't want to put blue next to the blue here, and I don't want to put pink and dark purple next to where my heart is because I want that to be separate. So we've used all of these colors back here. Um, once I use them, I kind of put them in a separate pile. So let's head back and use these, which are, I don't want black. Um, these are just some pinks and purples and blues. So let's use those so we're not using the same exact color and blending it into what we've already done because we want a clear separation. So, I mean, you can see how messy this is. This doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just making sure that my blue heart does not have blue directly next to it and I'm making sure that my purple and pink area does not have purple and pink directly next to that, so there's a clear separation. Okay, scribbling is done. Let's get a bigger water brush. We don't need the little fine liner detail pen brush for that. I always say brush instead of pen. I don't know why that is. All right, I got a good amount of water. So let's just pick a place to start and roll. I like to start with a lighter color first. On this, I'm gonna work fast because I do not want drying in between what I'm doing. So I'm going to hit a whole color and then I'm going to start to blend into the next one. We're not doing the same type of thing that we just did with our hearts. We're kind of doing a different thing where we're intentionally going into other colors. And that's, see if I go back here, I'm going to make those cloudy things. So since I don't want this to dry, I want an even distribution of my color here. I'm gonna keep working around and I'm going to try to color blend while it's still wet. I do not wanna drag all of that black, so I'm kinda of careful around my edges here. That blue is really pretty. Okay, I got a little black going over here and that was kind of dark. So let's try to fan that out a little bit and spread it out. It's totally okay that it happened. After all, it's just a piece of art. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I don't want to make it impossibly dark so that you can't see what's going on. Let's keep going around. And we're almost over here in the beginning. Now, where it's already dried from where I started, I want to take a little extra time to go through that so there is not a hard start and stop. I don't want to line. See, if I just leave it like this, you're going to be able to tell where I started and stopped, right? So let's do a little extra work over here so that that's not apparent. I'm going to spend a little extra time over here blending these together so that you can't see. Okay. 
gonna do a little more cloudy things in here. This is pretty light, so let's do a little extra. And there you have it. You've got some cloudy stuff. You have a unique rock. You have something that you've painted and you can make it however you would like to. As you can see here, there's so many ways to do this and this is just a few examples. So since we only took five minutes on that one, let's go and write the word hope with the heart like my original that I was teaching in class. So these Thule Art fine liners, you can do any fine liners that you want to. I used to buy microns and all kinds of stuff, which are really good on paper, but they kind of choke out on rocks, especially over uh, acrylic paints. So these Thule Art fine liner pens, I've just gotten recently and they're absolutely fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna write the word hope and what I like to do is what I would think a text a typewriter would text. Not that's not right. What I would think a <laughs> typewriter would do in text print. I'm just kind of winging it off of memory. What I like to do with the word hope is put a heart where the O goes. Since we're working on hearts, but you can do it however you want. There you go. Oh, it's backwards, sorry. Totally forgot. So there is my hope. Even though it's backwards, you can get it. I hope you guys, hope. I hope you guys try this, have a ball, make your own color variations, and most of all, have fun. That's what it's all about. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a wonderful day.